Hi everybody, welcome to With Love by Carrie. Um, a friend of mine asked me if I could do a quick uh, video on print and cut because she hasn't done it in a while and it's just going to be a reminder. Hi Bella. Okay, so here we go. She was going to do a Paw Patrol. So let me just bring this all the way up there. Um, I don't have a 12 by 12 printer. So when I do a print and cut, I need to put it on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So let's get, whoops, not that one. We want to go to page setup and change the size of your, um, paper. Okay. So we want to make it to 11, the paper size, the letter size. I'm sorry. Okay. So, and then the background will still be the same, um, you know, cutting mat that you use. Now we need to put on our registration marks. So the paper uh, set up is the one all the way to the left. And then the second one in is that you could have your grid. Uh, you could have a snap grid. I don't like that. Um, it doesn't allow you to move your pieces to exactly where you want them. It makes it snap into place every, I think, quarter of an inch or 18th of an inch. But if your design is not where you want it to be or where the computer, the program won't let it be, you'll never get it snapped into the right spot. Um, if you want to show your grid, there we go. And then you could do um, so many different ways of doing your grid. Uh, where is that? Um, with the ruler? No, I like the ruler. Um, you could change the color of your grid over here. Um, oh, here's the spacing. So if I put, I put white, so that won't show up. So if I had the red and say, I don't want this to be an inch. I don't want you could, I don't want these, the, the quarter inch squares inside the inch. So what I could do is I could space it. Um, that's the wrong way. I could space it where all I have is just inches. See, so the broad, the, the bold lines are inches. Um, okay. Let's go back. Cause I don't want that. And I also, whoops. Yeah. And I also don't want, see, there you go. And now you have two inch interv intervals. Um, okay. I don't want to show the grid, so let's get that off. So I'm just showing you. And then, um, the f next one over is your registration marks and that's where we need to go. So the registration marks are on off. So what we're going to do is we're going to do type one. I don't do type two. Um, type one is that the dot is on the top left hand corner. If you do type two, it, there is none. And I don't know, and I don't think that it will, um, actually recognize this just a corner. So let's bring it back to that. And now say there's not enough room for your piece and you want to resize the, the area that they say, don't put, um, anything cause it won't cut. Um, we can bring it in slightly. It doesn't do a tremendous amount of, um, space more, but it, it gives you some extra space. So there's really, um, a half an inch and half an inch on this side, uh, about a half an inch on that side. And on the top, you're talking about, mm, three, um, three fourths of an inch. And on the bottom is about a half an inch. So that gives you more space. So the only thing that you're really losing on the sheet of paper is about an inch going all the way around. So let's, let's get started with the piece that, um, and how to go about looking for a print and cut. I'm going to make that small. We'll go to Google and we'll go to Google images. When I go to Google images, I like to use a high resolution picture. So here's Google images and we're going to put in Paw Patrol. And the first thing that pops up right here is Paw Patrol clip art. So 
basically that's what I'd like. And there you go. You got all your Paw Patrol. So let's pick, uh, there's so many, but before we pick, let's just, I want to show you something. You could pick the first one and the first one may not be the best resolution that's there. Because if you look at the numbers right here, it's 385 by 571. That's not high resolution. Now this one, on the other hand, is very high resolution, um, 1,504 to 2,000. So to get all your images and clip art to be high resolution, we go to Tools, and then we go to Size, and it says Any Size, so that's why you'll have everything. But I want large, so I'm going to hit large, and now you'll see that most of, not always, but most of the time you'll only get high resolution pieces in this, see this one's a little bit lower. This one would be fine resolution for the size that you're doing, about 700. Anything above 700 is good for resolution on a print and cut. Um, so let's grab one. Which one do I like the best? I think I like him on the skateboard, which is really, really cute. So let's open him up. And to pick from here and drag it, put it into silhouette, sometimes you lose a lot of the resolution. So we want to view it large, which it'll come up on its own screen, and look how beautiful and large that piece is. Then what we're going to do is just for time's sake right now, I am going to save the picture as my desk, on my desktop. Let's get that on my desktop. Okay, and um, I'm just going to put Paw Patrol. Okay, and save. So now that's saved. We could close out of that. I'll make that smaller. And I have my Paw Patrol piece right here. Open up Silhouette, go to File, Open, go to your desktop, and there's my Paw Patrol clip art piece. Double click on it, and there you go. It did open up another page. Um, so we'll just do it over again. So here we go. We got him, and I'm going to put my registration marks on. And I'm also going to make it smaller, larger, so that I have more space for him. Not that I think I'm going to need it right now because I don't know how far out I could get him. All right. So you could um, move him around if you want to see how much, sp you know, to use up most of the space on the print. Whoops, I think I overdid it. Uh, big time. You want to go by corners. You do not want to grab it on the inside, on the sides. If you grab on the sides, you're going to distort, and, okay, Carrie, can you speak? Distort your picture. Okay, so I think this would probably be your best. You could probably make them just a tad bit bigger. Okay, that'll probably be your best bet right there. So this way it could get cut. If your picture is anywhere on the other side of this red line over here, it will not cut. It will print, but will not cut. So say your picture goes off just a tad bit and you send it through the printer and now you're sending it through your silhouette and it doesn't cut right there. You could always grab your scissor and you could um, cut it yourself. Now, when you do a print and cut, um, I like to do an offset because sometimes when you do the print and cut, it um, will cut into your picture because you have to remember it's a computer and it's not always accurate. Um, sometimes, it, you know, if the calibration on your um, silhouette machine isn't calibrated correctly, you're going to be off by a quarter of an inch, an eighteenth of an inch, and it may cut into your picture slightly. So if you have an offset of like, I don't know, 0.5 or 0.25, you could, um, at least it'll cut into the white and it won't cut into your picture. So it'll kind of give it that sticker look. So let's give it an offset. Alrighty, uh, offset. 
Okay, so there it is. It's the star that has another star around it. And then we're going to do an offset. Um, I know there's a glitch with the offset on the program. So I click into where it says the point zero five zero. Um, I want to make it point zero two five. So it's a quarter of an inch around everything. So I'm going to apply it and you can't see it because it's white on white. I don't know why it's not showing. Let me see. Why? Oh, you know what? Silly me, please disregard some of the stuff that I did. We did not detach him from the background. All right, let's see. So let's show you. You see where this box is? There is an invisible backing. So we have to take that out so that we could do the offset. Um, so we're going to hit our open trace panel and we're going to trace around our little puppy. We're going to fill it in with your threshold. Fill them in all the way if you want. Just make sure your lines are still crisp. Okay, and now we're going to detach. Okay, we're going to move him over here. Now, I don't know if you could see this, but if you could, I could see the lines. I don't know if you could see it, like right here, there's the lines. So, anyway, right here is where your piece is. There's the lines. I don't know if you could see it. Um, now, it's just highlighted it, and we're going to delete it. Now, let's bring puppy back into the picture. We'll do it over here so that you could see better because I'll color it in white. Um, now we're going to do the offset. Make sure that your, your item is selected. Now do offset. And there's your offset already. So, but I want to bring it down to, this is good, um, zero, 050. Zero. It's a large enough uh, offset. And let's color that in white so you could see what I'm talking about. There we go. You see the white? Now, what we'll do is we're going to click on both pieces and drag them over to your page. And I think we're going to be good on the cut. Yep, we're good. See, this, it's not overlapping and it's not overlapping. Now, I don't have this grouped, and the reason why I don't have the group is because I want to show you something. If I send it to send, and I usually cut at heavy weight, and now we need cut lines. Nothing's being indicated as cut lines. So let's go to the next one, and still there are nothing, there's nothing picked as a cut line. So. I don't have them grouped yet, so we don't want the dog to be um, with a cut line. So that one's going to be a no cut line, but we want the offset to be a cut line. And there you go. Now, if you want to, you could grab both of them. And now you see there's a double box, so you grab both, you wound up grabbing both of them right click and group. So now if you move this, it all moves together. Uh, okay, so now we got it back into the right spot. I don't think I did that right. Hold on. That is wrong. Let's go back. They're grouped. Ungroup them. Ungroup. I don't want the dog to be the cut line. So let's go to send. And if you take them apart, you're surely good to go. See, the, he's got the cut line. I don't want him to have a cut line. So we're going to hit no. And I want the offset to have the cut line. Now you could bring this together, but go back to design, 
So this way we could get it centered. We want to grab both of them. Make sure that you got both of them. You can make sure there's two boxes around each other. And we want to center. So usually this thing that looks like, um, I don't know, you'd look at it through a, a viewer for the Navy. That's what it looks like. That means it's centered. Now you got it centered. And then we're going to group. Make sure it's in the right spot. Because if you really want to center this in the page too, there's, um, let's go to your alignment. It's, tr it's called transform. I would consider it alignment. Um, we want it to be in the center of the page. So this one was the center. So if you did four, p four images and you want them all to be centered together as one, but it won't center it on the page, but you want those to be centered, you'd hit this one. If you want to send, after you group everything and you want to center it in the center of the page, you hit this one. So watch. See how he moved? Now he's in the center of the page and nothing is going to hit the corners. So now if we go to send, and I hope I didn't just confuse everybody, we'll go to send and now you can hit next and you'll wind up being able to cut it but you have to run it through your printer first. And once it comes through the printer, you're going to see these lines. You're not going to see the crosshairs. You're not going to see the red line. All you're going to see is the black um, indications as to where the cutting preferences are. And that would be it. That's how you do a print and cut. So good luck. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment in your, the comment section. And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. Thank you.